Update 4 on Hurricane Joaquin, which is currently located over the Bahamas as a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 130 miles an hour and a pressure of 939 millibars, moving north at 3 miles per hour, just 5 miles away from Rum Key. Uh, at 3 p.m. UTC, October 2nd, the storm is expected to move towards the north as a Category 4 slowly over those islands around Rum Key and San Salvador. They'll be seeing the brunt of the storm very soon indeed, if not already, after the storm has been lingering over the area for the best part of 24 hours or more. The storm is expected to then move towards the northwest, gradually weaken past Bermuda, um, and then move towards Atlantic Canada, where it's likely to pass to the south. So after all, it seems that there isn't going to be a threat to the US or Canada, not particularly, but that is not a certainty just yet. You might want to hold on for the next few updates to see just what happens. It could possibly switch back. You never know. The current warnings show that there is a hurricane warning in effect for the central and northern Bahamas, in fact most of the Bahamas really, with a tropical storm warning in effect for Andros Island, the Turks and Caicos Islands and eastern Cuba. There's also a hurricane watch in effect for Andros Island and Bimini. Uh, there you can see the warnings for Cuba, most of the eastern part of Cuba under tropical storm warnings they could see tropical storm conditions if not already um, but the storm is moving north the threat to Cuba is probably nearly over. Here's the latest sea surface temperature map you can see the storm there over very warm waters still around 29 maybe even 30 degrees Celsius waters uh, that's going to persist to 28 degrees almost as far as Bermuda and then it's going to sink down to 26 and then lower still as the storm moves towards the northeast. Looking at wind shear, that's also not going to be on its side for long. Moderate wind shear values already around the storm. If it happened to move a little bit more towards the northwest, it would be a better environment, but that is not on the forecast. The water vapour imagery shows lots of dry air to the northeast. That doesn't sound good for the storm, uh, but right now it's not in too bad an environment, certainly enough to sustain itself as a Cat 4 for the best part of another day. Computer models, this is the latest from the... Um, computer models, some of them here, uh, you can see what the trend is towards the northeast, a little kink to the north and then movement again to, towards the east there, um, out into the open Atlantic. This is the HWRF's wind sway, they predicted a category 5 last night but thankfully that's now no longer expected, only predicting a 120 mile an hour category 4 and even that has some doubt cast over it. You can still see it a category 2 uh, online with Newfoundland there even though it's going to pass to the south in all likelihood. The floater imagery shows how the storm's been passing so close to Rum Key in the last few frames. In fact, you could possibly argue that it's over that island right now. This is the very latest floater imagery showing how the storm's been progressing just east of Long Island. That, that island's been battered for about 18 to 24 hours. Um, uh, Crooked Island was uh, affected for around 24 hours also, and the storm is now beginning to turn towards the north um, and will affect Cat Island next, um, possibly with Category 4 winds. All around the world, uh, we have a few invests in the central and eastern Pacific. There are no storms yet. But of course, we have Joaquin. You can't see it so well there, but you can just about see it over the Bahamas. Not much else in the Atlantic. What's left of Ida, which might become Kate. Um, who knows what might happen with that. Um, and nothing else in the Indian Ocean. So we move on to the West Pacific, where we have two tropical storms. Tropical Storm Muchigai, which is formed near the Philippines, and Tropical Storm Choiwan, which is just formed over over Wake Island. That uh, would be the number 74 and 75 of the 2015 storms worldwide that have formed this year. 40 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher and 28 have gone on to become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. 75 storms already this year, just two away from the whole of 1988 with just less than three months still to go. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com, including its tracker. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Search Force 13, all in text. You can also add me on Skype, add Fool 13 for tropical weather chat at any time and to chat with the team. That's FOOL13. We will be live again this evening also. That's going to commence at around 10pm UTC tonight. That's going to be... Uh, what time would that be? 6 p.m. local time in the Bahamas and on the U.S. East Coast on October the 2nd. Until then, that's all for now.